Yes, yeah, here it is, back to do part two of the filled journals collection. I apologize that the first part I was slightly scatterbrained. I figured out what was in some of them, so I got curious, and then I was having, like, brain farts for some reason, so I apologize I was a little bit scatterbrained in that one. But for part two, I hope to be less scatterbrained. I'm going to pull the boxes behind me because it has a few I did not show in the first one, including what is to date but still my most popular flip through. Is this little one from Claire's Frigate? Forget how long I've had this, because I know specifically John got this one for me when we first started dating almost a decade ago. So I've had this one for quite a while. So yeah, I got this one, and then he also got me this one, and that cat one that was that you guys have seen that was fuzzy. He got me all three of those, all from Claire's. This one... 30, I think. I think it was only 30. This one was 7, not now. I think this one was 30. So, yeah. Got those two. I'm just gonna put them all on the bed because it's easier to do it that way and I can separate it after I start putting them away. Because I know in the last one I was doing just the 2018 ones on the bed. So, I'm just putting them on the bed like that for now. Next one is this one from Dollar General, and it looks like this. This one was 15, I'm pretty sure. Pretty sure it was 15. But yeah. I liked this one okay, it wasn't like a favorite or anything. I would get like the green one to try it out, just to see, but cause there's a green one of this. I don't know if there's a yellow one or not. I just know that there's a green one. If you hear rustling, I'm on the eating, so. But, yeah. This one but like $2 or something, so. It's one I might consider again. It would just depend on if there was like a sale on it or something. The next one is from Claire's. This is the Katy Perry Prism Journal, which I have not seen that line in Claire's for a while. Someone can tell me down below if it, she stopped doing that with Claire's or what, but the pages are ombre, which I really liked. And yeah, this one was volume 8. I know. Some I know for sure, some it's like guesswork. Get the rest of these out of the box. Yep. Next one is this one from Marshalls. And this one, is, which volume, fifty-one, okay, but it looks like this, what I liked is this one did not technically, didn't technically have a spine, so, I didn't break it, so. And the butterfly sticker was from Dollar General. So I was those card decal stickers, but I just stuck that on there. And yeah, I definitely like this one a lot. I need to look up the brand. I need to look up the brand for this, but I would definitely get one from that again. 
expecting an Admiralife soon. This one is from Top Flight. I had the blue bird. This is the pink one, the pink owl. And overall, I do really like this one. And I do think that I would get more from the line. It would just depend on my taste at the time kind of thing. So next one is from Marshalls and it is this one. It's by Lady Jane. LTD, but I found this one at TJ Maxx a while ago, and I really liked using this one. I would try to find more by the brand, but I would either have to look online to see if I could find it or get lucky again at TJ Maxx. So. Air. Next one is this Ecolo, and it says, "People will forget what you said. People will forget what you did, but people will never forget how you made them feel." It's by Maya Angelou. And it just looks like this. And this one got pretty thick as well. Yeah, definitely liked this one a lot. And this is also one from 2018 that I need to leave out. Next one is probably my thickest small one. This is by Bonnie Marcus and Co. I found it at Big Lots. And this is the front. That's how thick it got. I know. This one got pretty chunky. So. I did like it. I just need to try to find a better method. Than doing what I did to this one and to volume three. Next one is this cat one. It says possum ideas. You guys have seen this for years now, it feels like, because it was one of the first ones that I had ever gotten. But this was a TJ Maxx find. It was two nine nine. The brand is Tri Coastal Design in Guangdong, China. I guess they say that Guangdong. I'm sure I'm butchering that. But definitely like this one. Would try more from brands. Next is this one, and then there is the other one. Let's have another one that's in the same place. It's just these two. So there's this one and this one. So two and so three or four for this one, I can't remember. Four. Okay, so two and four. These were both from Piggly Wiggly grocery store that I have. They're in their back to school area. And I just thought I'd try them out. 
and see how they did. And they did work really well as journals, so I would consider getting more from there. Here is another Lisa Frank one. This is the Dolphins one. And I literally got this on sale for 30 cent after back to school, so this was a great find, in my opinion. And overall, I did really like this one. But I feel like went through it too quickly. Personally, I just felt like I went through it too quickly. But I did like it. Oh, here's the other page the regular one is this one. I knew I had one more. But I really like this one a lot. This is by uh, T.O. Jasmine. Under license by Top Flight brand. But this one went super chunky. So I did enjoy this one. It just got crazy thick. But I would get more from this line of top flight. And the next one is Keith Kimberlin and it is one that's got the cats all over it. This one didn't end up too bad. And I enjoyed this one a lot. And I definitely would get more Keith Campbell. In fact, I think I have two that are blank that I haven't used yet. So. Next is this one. It says Mermaid Club official member. These are sliding. I found this one at Marshalls, I think. I want to say it was Marshalls, but I could be wrong. Sorry, some of the stickers on the front were coming off, so I was just getting them. I could put them in a different journal where I know that they'll stay. Anyway, the front of it just looks like this. I did have stickers around it, but like I said, they were coming off. And this one was by Fringe, just like the Galaxy one. And I did really like this one a lot. I like this style more from Fringe than the Galaxy one and this next one. looks like this. I just prefer the style of the spiral more because it's just easier.
yeah, on the back. It says K pop explosion because I got a magazine that had red velvet, black pink, and BTS. So I'll put them on the back. I think I think later in the journal I put like EXO and Seventeen. Yeah. Like EXO Seventeen. A couple of other ones too. Twice. And another one. So, yeah, this one's got a lot of K pop stuff in it. Next one is the other one in the duo. I had one that said make it happen and this one that says you can do it. Quote oh, Ricky from Bina Blake Chronicles, you can do it. Anyway. The mind goes for strange places. Yeah, this was in a duo pack. They only had, I think, like 60 sheets in each. And I did really like them a lot. And I would get more of these, like, skinny ones, because these are good for like, a vacation or something, if you want to keep track of everything. Next is this Kate Spade one that says, Penny for your thoughts, and it's got this Use a jewel in the middle. My friend Robin said it looked like a spell book when I did that, but it's not what I was going for. I just liked the look of it in the middle. I definitely liked this one overall. I plan to use the black one that I have fairly soon, so. And next is my first leather bound one, and it is the Tree of Life from Barth Noble. And I really did like this a lot. I'm glad I didn't have a spine, because again, probably broke. Had the, had like the inclination, or Made it look like there was a spine, but it was like really floppy. So, but yeah, definitely like that one a lot. Also have this leather bound one from the Bars and Over. This one's a peanut. And it is this one, if I can get it. Medici Lion from Matt. <laughs> this is one that John got me from Barnes and Noble, and I really, really, really love this particular one. But this thing is huge. So definitely would try to make it smaller if I were to get another leather bound one because. That one got to be rather big. Next is my five subject notebook. Lisa Franklin that I did. You guys know like the cover of. And I did really like this one overall. However, I probably wouldn't get a five subject again purely for the fact that it was just a bit too long for me. I found myself getting bored of this one by the end, so I probably wouldn't get that one again. The next is this one. 
I decorated with um, Palace Pet stickers and Lisa Frank. This used to be an old school notebook that I had, but I never did finish that class or anything, so. And I did things like this. Let's see, a little lizard, four plus four. And like Lucia, things like that, so. I did like that one a lot. This one, I got from Walmart. And I did like this one a lot, but two things. A, extremely chunky, and B, I actually ripped the spine back here. So. But, I would get more from the brand, and I just put too much in it. These are the other two that are part of that set that I told you guys about. Here is the butterfly one. And then here is the peace one. Remember, I got the pink one that said rock. I don't see you sneaking around, little lizard. But yeah, I did really enjoy both of these. Next is this Ecolo, probably one of my favorite ones that I have, purely because of the color and the pattern. But I got this one at Marshall's as well, and I did really like it overall. I would get something like this again. And in fact, not the exact one, but I got this one from Marshall's as well. And it's funny, the diary. I think it's the diary library on YouTube. She got this one one day. She showed she showed it on her Instagram. I was like, oh my gosh, I have the same one. So definitely like this one a lot as well. I just love the Ecolo journals in general. Next is this one from Walmart that John got me. I just decorated the front with a bunch of stickers. And I do really like this one overall. I find it held up well. I like that it looked like an old book from the side. Definitely like that. This one a lot. Next is this Ecolo. I think I titled Green Cherry Blossom or something. Something like that. And overall, I like this one a lot as well. This one was from Barnes & Noble. Or Target, whichever one. Let's be with these out. Okay. Next is this one by Plan Ahead. And this one is rather big. It got to be quite the chunky, but it looks like this. And I did enjoy this one overall. I definitely would get more from the brand. But I will try to cut down on how thick it gets because that thing is huge. 
Next is this one. I got this one at a gift shop where my old neurologist was. There's like an entire Hello Kitty section, so I grabbed this one. I did really like it. Next is one that I feel like everybody and their mother has. It is this Spirit of Flight one. Did enjoy it. Found that the lines in it though were a bit too faint for me. Just in general because I try to write on the lines as much as I can. And it's hard for me to see, so. I forgot I did that one. That's been a while ago. But yeah. Definitely like this one a lot. And we would get something similar again. It's about Peter Parker Press. Next is this big one from Big Lots. Big one from Big Lots. It says, Life is better when you are laughing. And I did like this one. I found that the spine broke kind of easy. Like I was in the first third and it had already broken. So. Probably wouldn't get this one again. I think it was like five dollars or so. But I did like it while I had it. Yeah. Sorry, that was a journal. I trying to figure out what type that noise was. This one I got from Kmart before they closed here. And it just looks like this. I had a tiny one of this print. And I really enjoyed it. Would get more from it. The last Lisa Frank one that I have is the deer. Sorry. And I did like this a lot as well. It was just really fun to do collages and stuff. But also write. So, yeah, definitely like this one. Would get another at least Franklin soon when it will become available. Next is this one by Studio C. It's called the Silver Lining Collection. And it says, life is pretty good. It just looks like this. Overall, I did enjoy this one. Definitely would get something similar again in the future. I try to make all of mine different so I can tell which one is which. This makes it easier on me when I'm doing videos like this. So. And last but not least is this one that John got for me. Or that John gave me. He had it in his room. And he just was that into it into keeping it because most of the time when he does stories he does them online he doesn't like actually write them down so he gave me this and I do really like it a lot I still have the small one that he gave me that I plan to use soon as well so yeah, that was the end of this flip through guys or not flip through oh. oh too many videos this journal collection video hopefully you guys enjoyed and i will talk to you guys soon in another video at another time bye roses and young